Hello, I like to speak about my uh last visit to the mental hospital. Um I like to say that the hospital that I visited was Henry Ford Hospital ER and Henry Ford Hospital um Henry Ford Hospital Kingswood Hospital in Verndale. So Henry Ford Hospital ER is in Detroit, Michigan, and I live in Detroit, but Kingswood is in Ferndale, Michigan, which is north of Detroit. So when I went there, I uh, stayed there about two weeks, about 17 days. I took Ativance, um, which is a controlled substance, Respiradol, Depico, um, and some hyperthyroid medication, hypo, hypothyroid medication. Uh, my th thyroid will be uh, underachieving. My thyroid, my thyroid will be underachieving. And so I'll be having hypothyroidism. And in the anatomy class, when I was taking nursing classes, um, I realized that this right here is the hypothalamus, hypo uh, is a thyroid on a woman. And what that does is um, secrete um, or release hormones into the body so that the woman's body can function. So this was not working correctly on me. And so um, they gave me some hypothyroid medication. I take that every month. I'm not sure when that'll be corrected. I'm sure they have to take blood and check my blood, see if my hormones are working correctly. But from after 17 days, um, I wasn't um, put into seclusion or nothing like that because um, I'm pretty well behaved. You know, I just talked to my therapist, my doctor. Did activity, ate my food, and washed up real good, and that's how I got out. So I found that that was uh, the best. Um, I'll show you what they gave me on the way out of the hospital. This is what they gave me to take at home. And I'll tell you where they released me to, too. They released me to East Point, Michigan. They released me to East Point, Michigan. To live there because um, I was having troubles at home, and I won't get into that. But they released me to East Point, Michigan, and my daughter stayed here in Detroit with her friends and uh, her family, her relatives, relatives. And so this is the one thing they gave me. They gave me this. So I went to East Point off Nine Mile and lived there for uh, some time. Then I was uh, living somewhere else in East Point. I lived there uh, on, uh, off of Nine Mile, heading the other way. And so, um, let's see. Um, when I got out of hospital, I did schoolwork, classwork, finished my coursework at Strayer University. I'm a bachelor's degree student for business administration at Strayer University. And so I participated in a lot of activities uh, at home, like cooking, cleaning uh, the house uh, on Nine Mile East Point, uh, going to the supermarket, shopping, uh, providing things for the people in the house, you know, because they're good friends of mine. There's Carol, Nisi, Ice, and Camille. Camille moved out before I left, but I had a good time there. And, uh, you know, if any problem that came up, it would be my problem. You know, they didn't cause me any problem. You know, I'd be the delinquent in the house, the youngest one and the delinquent in the house. So um, those are my good friends. And then I moved over the other way yeah, uh, towards East Nine Mile, right near St. Clair Shore. This is really a beautiful area. But this place uh, had Donald and Danielle. So I lived with them for a while. And I did some cooking, some eating, and some sleeping. That's about all. Because I felt that it, was, it wouldn't be good for me to go outside too much. But I went on the porch, and I sang songs to myself and played on my phone and things like that. Did my schoolwork. School had just about let out when I got there. And so I came on back to Detroit to let everyone know that I did want to come home. You know, I was actively pursuing coming home because I saw that this was my problem. 
this is my problem and the problem is me, you know, so I'm going to have to come to my house and let everybody know that I do want to be home with my family and I don't want to be a delinquent. So I took my medications and I went to my doctor's appointment on March 20th. And this is one of the, uh, wait, let's see. These are two medications they gave me at um, the doctor's office. I go to Detroit Central City on Woodward Avenue. Detroit Central City on Woodward Avenue. So um, he said that you are, I said, I said, uh, he said, what is the problem with you? Amadi, Dr. Amadi. I said, I'm anxious. I see things that aren't there. I'm diagnosed paranoid. I'm diagnosed schizophrenic. And I think I need some anxiety medication because I was taking Ativans. He said, I don't give Ativans their controlled substance. What I would give you is this hydroxine. So I take two of these a day, two of these a day. And they really help me with being anxious and I'm able to get some sleep, like some really good sleep. I think that's amazing. And they also gave me this for the thyroid. Uh, no, for the, uh, let's see. Gave me this for... Uh, gave me this for... Uh, For uh, antipsychotic, so I won't be psychotic or thinking too much or being delusional or deranged or anything like that. So this is what I take. And now I'm back home. I spent the night out, spent the night in a room one time, a motel room. And now I'm back home in Detroit. If you can see my house, you know, and uh, I've great day. My best advice to you if you ever get into a mental health situation um, is to praise God. Praise God. And um, tell them the truth when you get there. Tell them the truth when you get there and do the best you can to do, you know, let, get put your best foot forward to um, show people that they want to, that you want to be the best person you can be because really it's a situation to help you and I. And when you're the problem, admit you're the problem.